Last Friday at this time, many of us sitting in this church were at St. Vincent Hospital praying for Jake and his family. Several minutes of chaos that morning changed our lives forever. It affected so many near and far away. It created a void in this world that we will never be able to replace. Jen, Marlon, Rebecca, and for your two little boys, Jen, we stand steadfast to continue our mission of ridding this world of evil and focusing on a mission of good. My message today is just that, a message of hope. John 3.16 tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Those are powerful words that have allowed me to get through the journey of life since I was 15 years old. I hope that they comfort you in this time of need. We know that Jake will have everlasting life. He has been accepted into the gates of heaven and is watching down on us now. It is my greatest honor to serve beside the men and women of my office. It is a great honor to be part of our honorable profession. It was my greatest honor to serve with Jake. We all know that any day we may make that ultimate sacrifice. It has now happened to one of our family, and it hurts deeply. We are angry, we are devastated, and we are heartbroken. Our lives have been changed forever. Behind the badge was a great man a father to two beautiful little boys, a husband to his wife, Jen. He was a son and he was a brother. Behind the badge was a warrior and he put down his life for you. Each one of you, his warrior spirit will live on. Behind the badge was his loyal partner, Brick, and they had an undeniable bond. Brick has been by Jake's side every day since last Friday and will continue to serve Jake by being at every hearing and trial until justice is served. Behind the badge was a guy that had a big heart, always a smile on his face, and he had a great sense of humor and a great zest for life. Let me share a couple of examples of that. That morning, shortly before the incident, he was on a traffic stop. Deputy Conley stopped to ask him if he needed anything. Jake's reply, it's a beautiful morning. What else could I need? LPD officer Taylor Nielsen, a decoy for the K-9 team, and Brick's current guardian. Jake always referred to Taylor as Brick's chew toy. <laughs> he hated campaign hats and always wore a winter stocking cap. He would roll it up in a certain way and look like Robin Hood. We would all give him grief about it, and he would just give us a big smile back and go, really? He and Brick would come into my office and always start the conversation with, hey boss, how you doing? Anything you need? He was always willing to give more. See, Jake continues to live on today in many others because he continued to give to others even after his death. He was a servant leader by always putting others first. Jake loved his kids. He told me one day in my office that he loved his job and that the only thing he loved more was Jen and when he became a father. A true testament that his priorities were right. Please bow your heads in silence as I read a poem. They always knew they could be. They never thought they would be. God knows none ever should be killed in the line of duty. Some made their final stand, their profession's last demand. They fell with gun in hand, killed in the line of duty. A routine to many a cop, some made one final stop, someone's mom and someone's pop, killed in the line of duty. Others answered one last call, to a robbery, theft, or brawl. They arrived only to fall 
killed in the line of duty. Some were dressed in brown, some in blue, some in gray and plain clothes too. Some were dressed like me and you, killed in the line of duty. May their souls be forever blessed, for they are now at rest, died doing what they loved best, killed in the line of duty. Forgotten they never could be, forgotten they never should be, thought they never would be, killed in the line of duty. God bless all those who fall. They are missed and loved so well. Let us pay, pray and toll the bell, those killed in the line of duty. Godspeed, Jake. You would be missed by many. We will take it from here. Amen.